Hello, I'm MPX Slicker, and welcome back to the video. Today I have some Minecraft console news to share with you, and it's some pretty interesting Minecraft console news because it is to do with a brand new update which just launched yesterday night for Minecraft Xbox One and Minecraft Wii U. Although it is just a bug fix update, it's nice that it did come out because it fixed a few major bugs, and it's also interesting because they've started hinting TU51 already, and they think this will be the next big update, and they've hinted it in some really bizarre ways. They figured I had to share with you all in today's video. Hopefully you all do enjoy this uh, new stuff, like the video if you do because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do want to keep seeing news as soon as it comes out for Minecraft console, even when it's in these weird cryptic forms like we're seeing today. But with that said, let's get straight into TU50, the update that just came out if you're on Xbox One, P uh, PS4 or Wii U, and it will be coming out very shortly for the other three consoles uh, because it did just fix three major bugs. There is the bug of uh, the wrong LOD showing uh, for non-block items in the UI, uh, the never portals uh, sending players to the wrong portals, that's right, all never portals were linking to the exact same one in the overworld, and also a player may fall through the block below them when jumping in a confined space, e.g. a small tunnel. So this one was used to get outside the map, which means you can no longer do that on the Xbox One, PS4, or the Wii U, but if you have a 360 or a PS3, you can still enjoy going outside of battle maps for at least a little bit longer. But yeah, with that all said and out of the way, bug fixes out right now. It fixes a few important bugs, that's kind of interesting. Let's talk about the name TU50, because this bug fix is called TU50, which a lot of people think is a waste, because, you know, TU50 would have made a lot of sense as a giant update, because it just has that big significance to it. However, the interesting thing about, uh, you know, this kind of argument is, one, they have to release bug fixes. It's not like they can just put off, you know, fixing bugs, just have a nice name. And two, it's the fact that TU50 isn't actually the 50th update for Minecraft on console. If you don't know, it actually launched with TU1. That's why you go back to TU1, not TU0, uh, which means that that was the 49th update that just came out of Minecraft console, which means the next one will also be the 50th update, TU51, which I know sounds counterintuitive, but that is how it works. And I decided to tweet out, they're like, ah, oh, TU51 just isn't quite as catchy a name as TU50. And what I found to be very interesting is that Roger Carpenter, again, a lead executive producer of Minecraft, on a console, actually decides to respond to that with, I don't know, 51 work for Area. And, uh, you know, I, I, this, this, this basically means nothing. He's just making a joke that Area 51, Tile Update 51, they both have the same kind of thing there. But one thing that I then realized that, like, it's a very, very minor chance, but I figure this has to be mentioned just in case this is the longest shot ever, and it is right, uh, is the fact that the very first add-on they ever showed for Minecraft, uh, you know, on the Pocket Edition, when they were showing it off last year, was the Alien add-on, where you can change, you know, creepers into these aliens, zombies into weird, you know, everything turned into aliens, there was this giant alien city, which I thought was a really cool way to show off what you could do with add-ons, and it kind of just, you know, this is what I picture when I picture add-ons, even to this day, because it is one of the giant epic showcases of add-ons being a thing. However, in that same add-on showcase, they said add-ons were coming to console, you know, Minecraft console in 2017, and wouldn't it be kind of interesting if there was this tiniest link between TU51 just happening to be like Area 51, and this being a very big, you know, long shot reference to that. Again, it's just a chance, they could, they're probably working on something else, but wouldn't it be cool if that did link up? I think they should mention that right now, because if it is, that's the coolest coincidence slash link thing ever. So yeah, uh, maybe there's aliens in Title Update 51, it would add up, and it kind of matches the reference there, uh, but that's just kind of, uh, we know what we know about that. So, as well as knowing that TU51 is in development right now, they've even referenced that, yep, we're doing it right, right, right now, and as well as the fact that, you know, uh, you know, even Roger Carpenter made a joke about TU51, we also have something else uh, that we got from Roger Carpenter, because he said, new T for Thursday, thanks 4J Studios, uh, because he got this brand new t-shirt from 4J Studios, which as you can see has a polar bear on it. So I cannot work out why this polar bear is important in some way. It could just be that they had a big stockpile of t-shirts from TU43 or whatever the polar bear update was for Minecraft the console, and they decided to finally send one over, or maybe in the same way they had a battle t-shirt and they had a tumble t-shirt, maybe this is the t-shirt for the next mini game. Maybe it's something to do with deep freezing. I think, again, that's more of a long shot kind of, uh, you know, kind of possibility right there, but I think the fact that they've confirmed they're working on something, the fact that we know it's one of like, you know, three or four different things. Again, it could be realms, it could be add-ons, it could be just, you know, 1.11 slash another brand new update, or it could be a new minigame. Uh, this one, uh, you know, it, where the first thing kind of hints towards add-ons, this kind of hints towards a new minigame, the tiniest bit in my opinion. Uh, again, I don't know what minigame would make sense to have a polar bear face, but given that we had some weird hints at like the flying bird stuff, maybe, uh, you know, that's a hint towards that too. Maybe there's going to be some way to change your polar bears into mallard ducks, and this is all going to make some grand sense in the end, but right now we've got this giant mystery in our hands, and I figured I'd put all the bits there out there for you. So, yeah, we've got uh, area, title update 51, it happens to be area 51, but probably that's a misnomer. Uh, there's the fact that there is a polar bear of some form going around the office, that, you know, there's at least a t-shirt of a polar bear out there, which is a bit weird. There is the fact that we've seen those tweets of all those birds from a while ago, and just in general, we're in this weird situation where something is in development right now. We're seeing the early hints of it right now, which makes me think that the official, you know, like hints and the 4J images and all this sort of stuff will be coming in the near enough future, and I think we've got some exciting 
exciting stuff coming somewhere down the line and I think that that means uh, you should be pretty excited because big stuff on the way and uh, we're going to start seeing hints in the near enough future I think and uh, that means that the whatever it is will be coming out or be revealed at some point fairly soon. I'm excited uh, either way, hopefully all of you are too. Like the video if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like the Minecraft console news even when it goes a bit crazy conspiracy and uh, things. Uh, share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel and if subscribed you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.